What's up, guys? Habs lose 5-1 of the Columbus Blue Jackets to stay tight in the Shane Wright sweepstakes. Am I right? I know I'm right. Okay, so there wasn't <laughs> there wasn't a ton of positives from this game. We know. Why am I smiling? Well, we're still in the hunt for a top three draft pick in the 2022 draft in Montreal, are we not? Okay, let's go to the play of the game. I tried to get Romy's hit on Jack Rosselick, but I couldn't freaking find it. Could not find it. Wasn't in the Sportsnet highlight pack. Don't know why. They're always biased against us, but... I wanted to show that Romanov hit on Jack Roslovic. Just a clean, gorgeous hit. We get at least one every other game, if not one a game from Romanov. But instead, we're going to go with this uh, San Montemo save on Wierenski. Check it out. Here he comes. Sneaks in. Suzuki get, or, uh, pardon me, Gallagher gets his back to the play and doesn't see him. There's a little... Kind of hard to see the save a little bit there, but I just love the sportsmanship at the end of that. Didn't it remind you of when uh, Kerry robbed... of? Carrie robbed Ovi and then Ovi just like came up and was like clapping to Carrie and then gave him a little high five. I love that stuff. I think we need to see more of that. So I thought that was pretty cool from Renzi to come, come over and give the stick tap to Monty uh, in a game where he lets in five goals. But to me, I mean, it wasn't Monty that, uh, that let the Habs down there. And on the broadcast, you know, I was kind of confused. I'm like, you know what? The Habs weren't not trying though, despite the score. Um, I, I still saw a decent effort. We just don't have the talent. We don't have the skill to match columbus at least i didn't think we did so as we know montreal loses 5-1 to columbus didn't even throw the graphic up yet but here it is um only a really a few quick notes from this game and the reason i'm in a decent mood is because yes i did go see shane wright play live the other day so be sure to check that video out if you guys haven't um i did edit it together i spliced it together nicely i thought and uh tried to have some fun it's it's pretty funny some of the clips i have in there but um yeah, check that out after this video, if you like. And Ryan Paling getting the only goal for the Habs in this game. I had a feeling Paling was going to score in this game. I'm, I know it sounds easy for me to say at this point, but if there was anyone who was going to predict a score, it was going to be Pales for some reason. And he tips in the Nick Suzuki shot on the power play. Nick Suzuki getting another point, of course. Cole Caulfield had a bunch of chances in this game. There, we, had a, we had a decent amount of chances. We just couldn't really capitalize. Hoffman had a few chances. Uh, there was a beautiful feed from... Romanov to Hoffman, which didn't really turn into anything. But um, yeah, so Paling had that great tip on Suzuki's goal. That was the only Habs goal of the game. But I mean, uh, Jordan Harris looked good in this game. He had a couple of shots. And I think we're getting closer and closer to Jordan Harris getting his first NHL point. Very, very clear in my mind anyways. Um, the Pitlick brothers. So like the Bash brothers from uh, D2 Mighty Ducks. The, the reason I say this is because they actually put Tyler and Rem their cousins. Okay. I know, I know they're not brothers. Just, just, just lay off me guys. You guys have already corrected me, on that. <laughs> but um, they look like the bash brothers in the one sequence where Rem and Tyler were actually on the ice at the same time. And they were both near the benches and they both hit the same player one after the other, just looking like Dean Portman and, um, and oh my gosh. And um, help me out here. Um, Fulton Reed. Thank you. <laughs> it took me a second. Looking like Dean Portman and Fulton Reed from the mighty ducks. Just going in for the uh, the Bash Brothers hit. So I know they're not brothers, but that was just a fun little sequence there. And um, again, so we got, what, eight games left now, and it's all but a sure thing that Carey Price is going to make his return this weekend. We've got back-to-back -back games Friday and Saturday against the Islanders and the Capitals, and I think it's no doubt in my mind Carey's playing Saturday. There's no question, especially with Jonathan Duran coming off the books, going on LTIR, and they shut down Jake Allen as well. So just freeing up as much cap space as possible for Kerry to make his return. So that's what we're looking forward to this weekend. I think it's going to be a pretty special moment when Kerry Price steps on that ice. We don't know what the future holds. Everyone's got an opinion on the guy. I get it. And frankly, I don't really care to hear them right now because I want to see this guy come back and just give us something to cheer about and maybe get a W for the guy. It'd be awesome to see. Be tough against Washington, mind you, but I think he's probably going to play against Washington. It's all about all but a sure thing in my mind. Monty's it's the game Saturday. That's what I'm seeing play out. I mean, in my mind. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, I want to let you guys know. So tomorrow, um, the, a newer show on my channel. If you haven't seen it yet, it's called Deeks and Vaca with my buddy Eric Vaca and I. Um, we go in depth to a really uh, crappy story, really, because if you follow the OHL at all, we're here in Niagara. I'm a Niagara Ice Dogs supporter and a Niagara Ice Dogs fan. But last week, uh, the GM and the coach were suspended indefinitely for two years. So there's a reason for that is because their WhatsApp chat got leaked to the public and it is ugly. And last week, we were kind of treading lightly because we didn't know what the message was until it got leaked to the public. We'd already recorded an episode before that happened. And now 
uh, we recorded an episode that we don't hold back about our thoughts on that situation. If you're interested in that and just hearing a really um, crazy hockey story about, you know, just how, how the old school, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. Just the old school mental mentality of hockey still needs to change. And uh, that's going to be on that episode if you want to check that out. So being released today or tomorrow, whatever time you're seeing this video, but also do check out the Shane Wright video. I just caught him live the other day in Niagara and it wasn't a challenging game for him, as I mentioned, but it was a fun game to see some of what he can do. Now, I will mention this about Shane Wright, and he's not the only prospect I've gotten interest about now because one of you guys just mentioned Juraj Slavkovsky from Slovakia who's projected to go fifth overall in this year's NHL entry draft so he's ranked number five by a lot of folks 18 years old I just want to mention him six foot four 192 centimeters tall no, I, this I don't know why I mentioned this. he's six foot four 218 pounds he's a left winger he's a beast um I could show you this carry now, but just go look him up. Uh, Juraj Slavskovsky. He looks he looks interesting. So anyway, that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, not a lot to go through in this game, but I will say this. I meant to mention Columbus because Patrick Lana had a goal and two assists tonight. Jack Roslovic had a couple of goals and some really nice tip goals too. So I, I did I did want to mention that because I don't talk enough about the visiting team's goals and what they do throughout a game. So I just wanted to mention that because respect the opponent, right? And uh, they look good against us tonight. It may be easy to do because it's the Habs, but Columbus Columbus made some nice plays tonight. And uh, Line A scoring that like goal line goal there. Um, but anyway, that's all I got, guys. Check out the com- coming content from the channel here. And uh, really appreciate the support. I see it every video this close to monetization. So thanks so much, you guys. It means the world to me. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.